Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, what is uh, uh, blood in urine, which is medically known as uh, uh, hematuria. You know. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share this video uh, to support this channel. You know, hematuria is a medical term which is used uh, for the blood in the urine. And the several different conditions and diseases can cause hematuria. You know, and these uh, include uh, infections, uh, kidney diseases, cancer, and uh, the rare blood disorders. You know. And uh, the blood may be visible or uh, uh, in such small quantities that it cannot be seen with the naked eye. You know. And any blood in the urine uh, can be a sign of any serious underlying condition, any problem, you know. And even if it happens uh, only once a while, you should make an appointment with your doctor as soon as possible. Uh, and ignoring the hematuria can lead to the worsening of uh, the serious conditions like cancer and uh, kidney diseases, you know. And your doctor can analyze your urine and uh, order the imaging tests to determine the cause of the, this uh, blood in the urine, you know and uh, then they can be treated accordingly, uh, uh, like conditions can be treated accordingly, you know. No, no. There are several types of the hematuria. Number one is gross hematuria or uh, microscopic hematuria. So the gross hematuria is uh, uh, if uh, there is enough blood in your urine that uh, uh, your urine appears pink or red and has spots of visible blood, you know, and uh, you give uh, like a uh, in that case, uh, it's known as the gross uh, hematuria. You know? But when you cannot see the blood because the amount is so small, uh, uh, you have the microscopic hematuria. So only it can be seen under the microscope, you know. And that detects the blood or the looking at uh, a sample of urine under the microscope can confirm the microscopic hematuria, you know. There are many possible causes. And uh, in some cases, uh, the blood may be from the different source. And the blood can appear to be in the urine while uh, it's really coming from uh, vagina in the woman, you know, and uh, ejaculate in the uh, men, you know, and from the bowel as well, you know. So the, uh, if the blood is uh, truly in your urine, there are several potential causes. It could be because of infection, it could be because of the kidney stones, it could be enlarged prostate, uh, kidney diseases cancer, uh, medications, you know, like penicillin and aspirin, you know, they can cause, and uh, the less common causes are like uh, uh, many other kinds, like, uh, like uh, strenuous exercises or uh, uh, others, you know, and uh, your doctor, if you uh, think that uh, there is blood in your urine, you should consult your doctor as soon as possible to diagnose it as soon as possible. So treatment can be started accordingly, you know. And uh, your doctor will ask you about the amount of blood and when you see it uh, during the urination, you know. And uh, they will, uh, because the doctor want to know how often you urinate and any pain when you are urinating. And if you see the blood clots and uh, what medications you are using, you know. And your doctor will then give you a physical uh, examination and collect a sample of your urine for the testing you know and uh, the analysis of your urine can uh, confirm the presence or the absence of the urine uh, blood in the urine you know and your doctor may order the imaging tests like ct scan or ultrasound or mri if uh, uh, he suspects any other condition you know and another possible test uh, your doctor uh, may want is the cystoscopy and in the cystoscopy it involves using a small uh, tube to send a camera uh, up to your urethra and into your bladder uh, with, uh, to see if there is any kind of abnormality in the urethra or in the bladder you know so this is another advanced test you know you know uh, some of the cases of the blood in the urine are very serious and you should seek the medical attention immediately and you should not ignore even a small amount of blood in your urine you know you should see your doctor as soon as possible if you're having difficulty uh, in uh, urination 
is painful urination, abdominal pain, or the kidney pain. So these may be an indication of any microscopic hematuria and any serious underlying condition. And thus, you should seek the emergency attention if you want. You cannot urinate. Your blood clots when you urinate, you know, and uh, you have the blood in the urine along with uh, one or more of the uh, like uh, nausea and vomiting and uh, fever and chills and uh, pain in the side in the back or in the abdomen even. so this would be a serious emergency you know and many of the causes of the blood in the urine are very serious and ignoring the symptoms can have a, a very bad impact on your general health you know and if the symptom is due to cancer ignoring it can lead to an advancement of the tumors to the point that there are no longer treatable you know so early detection is very important and the treatment can lead to uh, can help to reduce symptoms uh, if the cause of the hematuria is uh, an enlarged prostate and ignoring it, ignoring it can may lead to the discomfort from the uh, needing to urinate frequently severe pain and even cancer you know and ignoring the hematuria when you have the stones can be very painful and the prescription medications can uh, uh, and the treatments can help you to pass the stones you know and uh, these treatments work by breaking the stones into the small pieces uh, preventing the hematuria uh, means preventing the underlying cause and to prevent the infections drink plenty of water uh, urinate immediately after the sexual intercourse and uh, practice good hygiene you know and uh, to prevent the stones uh, drink plenty of water and avoid the excess salt and contain foods like spinach and uh, uh, other foods that contain uh, those uh, minerals you know which make the stones and uh, to prevent the bladder cancer refrain from smoking limit your exposure to chemicals and drink plenty of water thank you very much if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website it is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you Good luck.